नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एंड लाइटनिंग टेक्स्ट थर्टी एंड टेक्स्ट थर्टी वन ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव नारद इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन श्रीमद भागवतम फॉर व्यास देव और फर्स्ट एंड क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स्ट थर्टी ज्ञानम घूय तम यत तत साक्षात भगवतो दितम अन्व पोचन गमिष्यंत कृपया दीन वत्सलाह एज दे वर लिविंग दो भक्ति वेदांतास हु आर वेरी काइंड टू पुअर हार्टेड सोल्स instructed me in that most confidential subject which is instructed by the personality of godhead himself a pure vedantist or a bhakti vedanta instructs followers exactly according to the instructions of the lord himself the personality of godhead both in the bhagavad gita and in all other scriptures has definitely instructed men to follow the lord only the lord is the creator maintainer and annihilator of everything the whole manifested creation is existing by his will and by his will when the whole show is finished he will remain in his eternal abode with all his paraphernalia before the creation he was there in the eternal abode and after the annihilation he will continue to remain he is not therefore one of the created beings he is transcendental in the bhagavad gita the lord says that long long before the instruction was imparted to arjun the same was instructed to the sun god and in course of time the same instruction being wrongly handled and being broken was again instructed to arjun because he was his perfect devotee and friend therefore the instruction of the lord can be understood by the devotees only and no one else the impersonalist who has no idea of the transcendental form of the lord cannot understand this most confidential message of the lord the expression most confidential is significant here because knowledge of devotional service is far far above knowledge of impersonal brahma gnanam means ordinary knowledge or any branch of knowledge this knowledge develops up to the knowledge of impersonal brahma above this when it is partially mixed with devotion such knowledge develops to knowledge of parmatma or the all pervading godhead this is more confidential but when such knowledge is turned into pure devotional service and the confidential part of transcendental knowledge is attained it is called the most confidential knowledge this most confidential knowledge was imparted by the lord to brahma arjun uddhav etc text 31 ye nai vaham bhagavato vasudevasya vedasah mayanu bhavam vidam yen gachanti tatapadam by that confidential knowledge i could understand clearly the influence of the energy of lord shri krishna the creator maintainer and annihilator of everything by knowing that one can return to him and personally meet him by devotional service or by the most confidential knowledge one can understand very easily how the different energies of the lord are working one part of energy is manifesting the material world the other superior part of his energy is manifesting the spiritual world and the via medium energy is manifesting the living entities who are serving either of the above mentioned energies the living entities serving material energy are struggling hard for existence and happiness which is presented to them as illusion but those in the spiritual energy are placed under the direct service of the lord in eternal life complete knowledge and perpetual bliss the lord desires as he has directly said in the bhagavad gita that all conditioned souls rotting in the kingdom of material energy come back to him by giving up all engagements in the material world this is the most confidential part of knowledge but this can be understood only by the pure devotees and only such devotees enter the kingdom of god to see him personally and serve him personally the concrete example is narad himself who attained this stage of eternal knowledge and eternal bliss and the ways and means are open for all provided one agrees to follow in the footsteps of shri narad muni according to shruti the supreme lord has unlimited energies without effort by him and these are described under three principal headings as above mentioned hari krishna 